So, somebody on the internet, on Twitter to be specific, linked this switch. And basically this was per an old video of mine where I said, you know, I, I need 10 gig switching. Need is relative, of course, I just really kind of want it. But basically I was like, you know, I want to spend like maybe four or 500 bucks. I want to get a nice 10 gig uh, networking switch. And I want it to be copper, right? I want to use regular ethernet cabling. They can have SFP, which I fully expected it to do, but uh, either way, I want it to primarily be RJ45 ethernet. I just want it to be a copper connection. Mainly because I don't like fiber cables. I don't know how to work with them. And uh, they make me nervous. So in today's video, let's unbox my new switch, which is made by Netgear, I believe. For those of you who might be wondering, I'm making the video like this upstairs in front of my Christmas tree because I am super fascinated by the fact that I made a Christmas tree out of shocked hard drives and it feels a little bit like Christmas. You know what I mean? So this is a Netgear, I don't know if this is all covered or not, a Netgear ProSafe. That means it's professional and it's safe. And it is definitely packed pretty well, so. All right, the guy who sold this to me definitely went a little overboard on the packing tape. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now, but I bought this on eBay for $600. Here it is. More packing stuff. Oh look, I get a CD, Netgear ProSafe XS728T. It's a burnt CD, totally not a virus. There's no way. And I don't even have a CD player. I think I have like a USB DVD reader actually. I'm gonna have to whip out some old technology to read that. Now before we get to that, looks like he printed off all kinds of stuff as far as Simple configurations and some default passwords and things like that. Probably just stuff right from the website. So that'll help me a little bit. He also sent me off an eBay packing list. So I'm not going to show that. Obviously, that's personal information. So here we have it. So here we have it. With absolutely no way to rack this. Oh, there might be another box. This is gonna be the switch. Look at that, 20, do I have that right? No, I don't. 24 ports of 10 gigabit ethernet networking. Look at that, 24 ports. Obviously it's not PoE, but you do have four ports here for SFP, USB 2.0, regular power supply, and from my understanding online, people said this thing is pretty quiet. So I'm gonna plug that in today. I'm gonna test that uh, just to see how loud it is. But first, let me see. There's like some racking stuff. There's a power cable. Yes. And racking gear. This is good. Okay, so this is a smart switch, right? I, I get that, it's smart. But the thing about smart switches is, even if you don't wanna use all of the smart features like VLAN, stuff like that, it should still theoretically, hypothetically, possibility plug in and just switch, you know? I don't need it to be smart for now. I mean, maybe sometime later, but for right now, I'm just gonna plug this bad boy in and hopefully it works. And I got a spot for it, right here 
which if you watch my racking video, I've been kind of planning this from the start. I've wanted it to be right there. That's why I left it open. So that's nice. There you go. Now, sadly, I don't have any 10 gig direct link between my normal power over ethernet switch. This is a 48 port uh, Cisco switch, but I don't have anything that's 10 gig that's gonna connect this to this. It's not really that big a deal because this is going to be used separately for 10 gig connected devices. And I don't know, I'll figure this out as I go along. But for now, I'm just gonna plug this in. That way it's connected. Just to, just to get that going. I'll figure out the rest later. Now, as far as like actual 10 gig connected devices, I only have two going right now on my network, which is my main computer, Loki, and my main like workstation, my just regular computer, which I didn't actually name my regular computer, but um, that's the only things that I have really 10 gig. And up until now, really, it's just the direct highway works great. You know, it's a, a single lane highway, nothing else mattered, but this 10 gig thing is is gonna bring me up to the future. That, that's what I'm hoping. I can connect more devices and that is the end game. So to, temp, to test this temporarily, basically all I'm gonna do is just set up these two cables, which I can run. I have a few extra spots here. Uh, I can run this a little bit better later, later and I will once I confirmed everything working. But I, all I did was connect Loki to this and then this other one is going to my main computer. That way, I'm just gonna see if this would work just right out of the box without any kind of special programming or configuring or anything like that. So this is the time. Let's take a listen to the ambient, right? How loud is it right now? I'll give you a second. Okay, so now that we have a baseline, let's plug in this switch and see if it is noticeably louder than the rest of the stuff running in my server rack. Okay, I got real quiet real quick. Basically, just to hear this, I gotta put my ear right up to the exhaust fans on the side. So, this thing is super quiet, which is a huge bonus. For me, I kinda got a lot of other stuff going on, but it's not terribly loud, so I, I, I didn't wanna add like a very loud, whiny, noisy, you know, switch to the setup, which is kinda why I got this, because online everything said it was pretty quiet, and I can confirm, and it's quiet. There's no way to hear it over the other junk I have in this thing. So now that that is booting or booted up, let's jump on the computer and let's see what my my speeds are between it. Usually I get like, I don't know, like five gigs per second when I do a little speed test using the speed test docker. So it's like four to five gigabytes per second, gigabits per second. Let's see what that is now. Okay, so if I pull up my ethernet connection, it looks like it is registering as a 10 gigabit per second connection already with no configuration or anything. So everything looks like so far, it is working right out of the box. Now, if I go into Loki and I actually start my speed test Docker here, this should allow me to test the, uh, the connection directly between Loki and my computer. Now with this simple speed test, this should test the direct connection between the Docker that's hosted on Loki and my main computer. I'm expecting probably, I don't know, between four and five. I think I usually get around four to five. So let's check this out. It should be a pretty solid connection. Oh, okay. It got a little fast and slowed down. All right, all right, not bad. Let's run it again just to make sure. Okay, so obviously this is not full 10 gig, but it's faster than one gig. So obviously there is a little bit of configuration of my end that I have to do to make this thing faster and hopefully reach its fullest potential or possibly even a, a different speed test because who really knows if this, you know, Docker can handle full 10 gig speeds. And that is really all there is to it. Basically today, I just wanted to verify that this smart switch that I got off of eBay for $600 would work out of the box without needing any kind of additional configuration just to run as a dummy switch, which in my in the past, I've messed with smart switches before. I have a smart switch now and they do plug in and they work as a dummy switch usually by default. So I didn't really have any major concerns with it, but it was something that I wanted to get plugged into the network. See how loud it was, was another test 
that I wanted to run today. I want to see if it was going to be something that would just whine super loud. But if you guys want to learn more about the switch, I will link it in the description down below. I, I will actually link to my Amazon affiliate uh, link if I can find it. But just keep in mind that I actually bought this thing off eBay. Someone linked it. It was like, hey, here you go. This is what you're looking for. And I bought it. So thank you to that person for sending me the link. That's it literally is exactly what I wanted. Maybe, maybe a hundred dollars more than what I really initially wanted to spend, but now I have 24 ports that are 10 gigabit per second capable and they all use ethernet or RJ45 or copper. I like copper. I don't want to deal with SFP or fiber, anything like that. So I like copper and I'm definitely happy. Moving forward, I think the things that I'm going to have to look at are a couple few different things really. One, can I connect multiple connections from the 10 gig switch to my Cisco switch to help aggregate some of that bandwidth? So specifically, if I have some things routing through it that are you know, bandwidth intensive, but they do want to communicate with other, other devices on the network, can I use maybe two one gig connections and have the switch automatically you know, balance that out? I have two smart switches. So even if they don't work like that out of the box, I feel like maybe there's a chance that I could go into the system and maybe configure something like that. If you haven't figured this out by now, I'm asking you, the community, post down below if you know this is possible for sure. I enjoy networking and buying things and hooking them up and seeing how fast I can get them, but that does not mean I know exactly what I'm doing. So any help is appreciated. And the second thing I'm gonna have to do is find basically something with the, either an SFP, because I do have the option, or preferably an RJ45 10 gig uplink to a little micro switch, probably like an eight port, because I wanna be able to run that to my computer room. Because what I found in the past is that I'll hook up, you know, my main computer, usually a test bench, sometimes another computer. I might have three or four things hooked up into my computer room all at once. And this isn't very far away. So now that I'm thinking that since I have this 10 gig switch, I can run a 10 gig uplink into my office and I can hook up multiple things to that little miniature switch without impeding any kind of traffic uh, for let's say internet or file transfers or anything like that. So that's probably gonna be my next step just to hook up a little miniature switch in my office that is all 10 gig connected. But hey, that's it for today, guys. Simple video today. Thank you for watching. You know, holidays are coming up, Christmas. I got some things in plans, but I've also been dealing with some stuff on my own end. So uh, look for another video. I got a couple things planned, but stay tuned. Subscribe below. Happy holidays. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself a fantastic day.